Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and today we're gonna do some hopefully refreshing stuff which is just about the animation and how you can control the whole thing with uh, the specific uh, things which Game Maker Studio is giving. So this could be just a refresh for you guys if you are a little bit advanced or a basic user but if you are completely new and you just want to know how, to, how that stuff actually works, well stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing? So right off the bat, what do we need? First of all, well, uh, objects, and then of course our sprite. So we can just drag and drop it in here, and then instantly we got a nice little animation. Uh, for example, running, of course, if you have more than one frame. As you can see here, there's a number which is getting updated. So this is saying the current frame. So this is frame uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this is a little bit misleading because um, I will go, go on to the details why that is. And of course here, this is not what we're gonna do at bro broadcast message. So for example, we could have some extra control here, but we're gonna do it the easy peasy way. Of course here, um, concerning the animation, you can just loop it. This is just a preview, so for example here you can change it to ping pong at left and right. As you can see, this pin is going left and right. Or for example, it's just going once and then it stops. But this is just a preview. This has no effect on the constantly looping thing which is uh, attached to here. So here, uh, this is not the same as here. Um, come on. But of course, let's say we want to animate it a little bit faster. So we just say like, hey, 10 frames per second so let's loop it so it actually looks nicer and of course we can go overboard and just <laughs> but this is a little bit fast so let's go back to five and then I'll update it to a pretty pleasant speed overall so for the information just a few things uh, right off the bat for example there is a few internal uh, variables which you can check out which are just uh, linked to this instance and then this instance has a sprite index this is this one and it has a name so here uh, for example if you want to change it during runtime then this is how you change your index of your sprite attached to it but maybe you just want to have and actually change the image index which is the internal inside this object but for example this is then referring to the specific frame and here it starts with one current frame one and two and so on but this is a little bit misleading because it actually starts with zero yes super wonky a little bit confusing and therefore um, just bear with me so that means it can be zero one two three four and five so here we had one and blah 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 we just go into a six but this is actually image index five because you have to minus one it a little bit confusing sorry for that but this is the way uh, it handles so for example if we just uh, I don't know draw the image index on the screen and of course ourselves on this right then it looks like this and then for example what we can do is just place our dude in here let's make this a little bit bigger Ooh, uh, no 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 let's make them actually scale correctly scale correctly I said here we go and then let's check this out so what you're seeing in front of you is basically the animation constantly running because for now we just loop it all the time so the preview had no effect of it and as you can see we are always starting with zero as a start value not one so here this is the image index being drawn on the screen so what can we do to manipulate our animation so first of all we could just uh, ramp up that number but let's say for example um, you for example want to have a walk speed which is slow because this dude is kind of idling and for example you just want to have it a little bit faster because uh, I don't know the enemy or the player or whatever that, that skull thing here is is just trying to catch up and therefore um, the animation needs to be faster so here this is uh, not the best way to go of course here this is where you set your, set your standard but then we just say like hey let's go and have our image speed and this is where you control your animation and this value is as default one and this is a multiplier so basically uh, open it up that means just one times five frames but for example if we just go three times 
we are let's go four times we are just landing at 20 frames 20 frames yes 20 frames so let's check this out now and boom as you can see this now this image index is of course getting updated faster because this speed is kind of multiplying it and therefore as you can see um, this thing is faster and of course the uh, internal index of it it's uh, getting ramped up quite a bit also but let's say for example you want to have a, a thing like this for example you just go here and you just want to animate and then it stops for that actually we have a very specific event which is called other then animation end and then for example it says like hey we are hitting the last frame because this is the end of the animation and what do we do well we just set our speed in this event to zero and then uh, the animation will stop and for example if for any reason sometimes it actually happens that it's still getting skipped to the first frame which is kind of strange then we make sure and just say like hey our image index so the internal one is set to five because we know well it ends at number five here six minus one or we can just go safely and just say image number and this is basically giving uh, uh, the animations uh, number back there so basically it will just say like one two three four five six because we are starting at zero we need to minus one and then we are safe so let's check this out and as you can see boom we are and then we are at our last frame which is number five and we stop this is what we wanted to do and of course if you want to um, have some control in between so let's say we have a step event and then we just say like hey image index uh, i don't know let's go at our image index of uh, let's say three then let's do something this is uh, bound to fail why is that because uh, the way this number is getting updated is a real number and sometimes it can actually skip the number three so for example it will just go 2.87 whatever and then it will be 3.15 or whatever and then uh, <laughs> you just completely skipped it therefore if you go like this then just go hey are we over three and then do something just for a little uh, well exercise for example if you just want to do something on a specific frame so therefore make it a relative and then let's say bigger or smaller not equal to because once again the number can uh, well jump over the one which you actually want to target because we're not just updating we're just not setting one two three four five or zero one two three four five this is a real uh, uh, float number already that was it hopefully oh wow nine minutes that's quite long already so hopefully you got some insights into the animation of game maker studio and then you can uh, control that a little bit easier have a good one one up indie